You are listening to Sinu Podcast. This program is a collaboration between the Kapurei Communication and Alumni Relations Center and the Language Institute. Hello, everyone. This is Ashley Sapmeng, and welcome back to another episode of Sinu Podcast. And today, our news is Sinu unites pull through COVID 1 9 s crisis. So let's hear the news from Mr. Clayton Shadowworth. Thank you, Ashley. Chiang Mai University has joined forces with all sectors to provide care and support for CMU students and staff who have tested positive for COVID-19. Currently, it has transformed the female dormitory number five into Chiang Mai's second field hospital. As the increase of COVID-19 cases continues, affecting many places in Thailand, including Chiang Mai, CMU is truly concerned about the well-being of its students and staff and the general public. CMU promptly set up the Emergency Operations Center, or EOC, to provide care and support for students and staff throughout the process of tracking, screening, and testing. The risk groups are monitored to prevent further spread and required to provide details of their timelines to track the contact groups. While awaiting the results, students with a high risk of infection that do not have a place for quarantine will be provided accommodation for self-monitoring. In case of infection with mild symptoms, the university and Maharat Nakhon Chiang Mai Hospital have prepared a facility that meets the disease control standards to care for this group of patients. In terms of treatment, although Maharat Nakhon Chiang Mai Hospital increased the intensity of care for COVID-19 patients, the rise in cases made it difficult to accommodate the crowding patients. Therefore, the university has transformed its women's dormitory number no. five into Chiang Mai's second field hospital, which is an extension of Maharat Nakhon Chiang Mai Hospital. This field hospital cares for CMU students and staff who have tested positive for COVID-19. In severe cases, the patients will promptly be transferred to Maharat Nakhon Chiang Mai Hospital. During their stay, the university provides necessities, three daily meals, and snacks. It has also set up donation points and offered rooms in other dormitories for current residents who wish to stay on campus during the term break. Moreover, the Faculty of Public Health created the application CMU Self Health for COVID-19 in order to screen the risk of suspected infection groups to keep surveillance on the spread and provide suitable advice to maintain good hygiene and prevent the spread. Offices, dormitories, and the surrounding areas are cleaned and disinfected with ozone, and information on proper self-care is provided through various channels. One important preventative measure in social distancing: the university has shifted instruction online using technologies such as Zoom and Microsoft Teams, and it has also issued a university-wide work-from-home announcement. Due to the economic downturn during the pandemic. The university has reduced the tuition fees and accommodation fees for the summer semester of the 2020 academic year, and to relieve the parents' burden, the duration of payments or fees has been extended, and loans for living expenses and off-campus accommodation rent are available to those in need. For instant communication and support, various communication channels are available, including Facebook, Line, and the FAQ section on the CMU website. Apart from the donation of necessities and dry food for the students and staff receiving care at Chiang Mai Field Hospital too, the university, through the Chiang Mai University Development Foundation, has organized a fundraising campaign to help purchase field equipment such as beds, mattresses, blankets, bed sheets, and pillows for the Chiang Mai Field Hospital. With the university's coordination, the team from the Faculty of Associated Medical Sciences is offering PCR testing for COVID-19 for students and staff. From April 13 through 17, 2021, at Ang Gail Multipurpose Building, in order to increase affordable testing. Most importantly, we must not forget the dedication of the team of frontline healthcare professionals from the Maharat Nakhon Chiang Mai Hospital, who have been working tirelessly to save lives, along with all the other healthcare heroes around the world. CMU would like to offer its support to healthcare professionals, CMU students, and staff. And the Thai people to overcome this crisis together. For updated information on COVID-19, please visit https://cmu.ac.th/th/covid-19. 
Thank you very much, and that's it for today. Please stay tuned to the next episode of CMU Podcast on YouTube, and don't forget to follow the hashtag CMU Podcast. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.